If any person wished to retire from his acquaintance, to live absolutely unknown and yet in the midst of physical enjoyments, it should be in some of the little villages of this coast, where air, water, and earth concur to offer what each has more precious. Here are nightingales, becaficos, ortolans, pheasants, partridges, quails, a superb climate, and the power of changing it from summer to winter at any moment by ascending the mountains. The earth furnishes wine, oil, figs, oranges, and every production of the garden in every season. The sea yields lobsters, crabs, oysters, thunny, sardines, anchovies. Through Piedmont, Lombardy, the Milanese, the Genoese, the garden bean is as great article of culture, almost as much so as corn. At Albenga is a rich plain opening from between two ridges of mountains, triangularly, to the sea, and of several miles extent. Its growth is olives, figs, mulberries, vines, corn, and beans. Uh, this is, uh, as you can have just heard, is a passionate description of a place uh, near the border of Italy to France, Albenga in Liguria, and uh, it is uh, the voice of somebody who really loves Italy, and uh, they are the words of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. In this specific case of Thomas Jefferson, we cannot think of his work uh, avoiding to think about all the other aspects of his life. We have to think uh, as Thomas Jefferson as an architect, or better, a gentleman amateur in architecture, and uh, as a politician, as a man of law, and a man th that was incredibly um, uh, educated for those times in America, and he had an, a, a very big library that was, you know, one of the richest libraries in the United States. Mm -hmm. 